I'm sorry. It's all right, Ellie. Me like it. What's wrong? <coughs> I'll do the wanting. I, I can't do this. You're not a bore true girl, Ellie. Well, then don't just bore true. I've got nothing else to offer you right now. The guys are betting on when I'm gonna fuck you, Anastasia. Ashley's betting. I don't watch what other people think. Are you back? Of yeah, course cool, so I'm back. What kind of question is that? Go and give me a cock of tea. Boy, I am not vexing I am vexing a pussy clot! I just had to deal with Tricky. The fool not just go switch upon me. Switch. Yes, yeah, switch is what fucking said in it. Switch. He not go collect money that is mine and give it to rent and crew as gift offering. What? Yes, gift! So that they would accept him in a them crew. My fucking money. What the fuck? What is happening around here? I had to mark yeah, him straight. Hey, no, 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 don't cut me off in the flow. You know, hear what the adverts say, huh? Talking is good. Me, I need to get this off my chest anyway. When they finally hung down Tricky, boy, they take out my blade. Yeah, you know, you know what they love? Don't pollute up my vibes with them talk, eh? Pollute? Delhi, you went to prison for GBH on free men and them dogs. How the fuck I go and loot you? A restaurant is not the place to discuss fucking murder. Well, where else am I supposed to talk about it on the streets? Right now, I don't care. Just not in here. Not today. Look, I didn't murder him. I just caught Nigga, you can't hear me. I said I don't want to hear about it. Man, if you can't hear me, come out! What? Of your restaurant? I'm not saying that. I'm saying what if somebody walked into the place and overheard this kind of talk? They'd have heard all your business. You didn't even check. You just come in and start to talk. Suppose 5 0 was in it. But they ain't. But Nobody comes in here. Maybe that's the problem. Look, I don't want no dirty talk inside here. Take from that what you want. Well, I shocked Delhi. When you just call me ignorant, I don't like it, but I take it. But now my talk is not good enough for you in your restaurant. Me that sit on in here for a lifetime is not good enough. Not saying that, digger. See? So you, like all of them other niggas around here, you switching on me? You let me get some more cocoa from the back. Yes, Digger. Yes, Ashley. Walk one. You wanna come and take a walk with me? Move. Don't 
joking, joking, joking. Come on, let me try. Tristan, stop back the man. I'm joking, joking, joking. Thanks a lot. I really appreciate you coming, you know. Oh, one of your, one of your you. greatest fans. Oh, Hope you score free against Tottenham on Saturday. Yeah, cheers. <laughs> Thanks for Thank coming. Uh, don't forget, for each um, 10 burgers ordered, you get the 11th free. Okay? Thanks again. For every 10 burgers, you get the 11th free. How many black people All right. That's the family thing done. So, uh, you can help me clean up the place. Thanks for coming tonight, Ashley. Hey, hope you're proud of yourself. But what happened to you? The need for you to get on the table, start singing blasted rude calypsos, running the blasted customers was what? It's the opening of a new West Indian restaurant, Clifton, not a blasted Shabin. There was nothing West Indian about it. You have a master Calypsonian standing right here, you know. Would you let him play? No, we have to make cool in the name of culture and take matters into we own hands. No disrespect, Beji, but that was not the image we I want people to connect with this restaurant. It's our new vibes we are dealing right now. Yes, we should be proud of ourselves. West Indian fast food reach. Mm. <laughs> if you're asking me, fast and West Indian is a contradiction in terms. No, I've had too much already. <laughs> Any more and you're going to have to carry me home on your back. <laughs> drink the drink now. Sada ring. Jesus. You know what the young girl wants. Sada oh, ring. Grandad. Can we stop your nice? You know what the young girl wants. Hey, but what the ass do this boy? Maybe you should call your dad and be a taxi. What she was trying to say is I is drunk. Finish up your drinks, Clifton. One time. Well, answer me this. Can a drunk man extemporize? I don't know, Clifton. Well, think about it. You see, you can't answer. Because your answer will be contra contradictory to your current thesis. Betty, prepare a reading. Oh, no. Young fellow, give me a subject quick while you read him hard. Quick. Um, football. Football. They used to call me culture master. Be prepared to get teach. His story is a funny thing. His story is a funny thing. Listen to me, people. About football, me a sing. Ha! Clyde Best, the best footballer West Ham ever had. Said Clyde Best, the best footballer West Ham ever had. But from the stands, they shout each game. Go home, you black bastard. Now, here we go. England, what a wonderful land. In England, you must understand. Whatever you do, wherever you rise, you must realize you could never disguise. You're a black man in a cold, cold land. <laughs> so that isn't even about football. That's you on your high horse again. But did you hear the word football? Yeah. Did you hear the name of a footballer? Yes. Then it was about football, wasn't it? Can I take you for Clifton, I'm putting this rubbish outside and then I'm calling you a taxi. No, no, you ain't paid for them kind of work, then, yeah? Sweet girl, you give me a subject, man. Love. Nah, that's too easy. Something hard. Okay. Trust. Ay! I look at you, you have eyes I could trust mm, The way you look me up and down on the number seven bus Shut up, I think you is a lady but I don't know maybe Tonight if you'd give yourself to 